Hello friends, so in this video we are going to talk about simple vapor compression cycle on TS diagram and TH diagram. So let's start. So if you talk about a simple vapor compression cycle, then it has four important components. First one is compressor, second one is condenser, third one is expansion wall and fourth one is evaporator. So we will start from this point number one. So at point number one, the refrigerant it is in vapor state and it has low pressure as well as low temperature. When it goes to the compressor, the vapor refrigerant compresses isentropically and its pressure increases as well as temperature increases. So at point number two, we have high pressure, high temperature, vapor refrigerant. When it goes to the condenser, when it goes to the condenser, heat is rejected to the surrounding. This process happens at constant pressure and because of rejection of heat, the state of the refrigerant changes from vapor to the liquid. So at point number three, your refrigerant, it is at high pressure and high temperature, but it is in liquid form. When this high pressure, high temperature liquid refrigerant passes through the expansion wall, its pressure reduces as well as temperature reduces. So at the end of expansion wall, we have low pressure, low temperature uh, refrigerant. It is in two phase region or we can say it is in wet region. When it passes through the evaporator by absorbing heat from the surrounding space in the evaporator, the refrigerant state changes from wet state to the vapor state. So at point number one, again, it is at low pressure, low temperature vapor state. So this cycle continues in the vapor compression cycle. This is simple vapor compression cycle. Now let's try to draw this simple vapor compression cycle on TS diagram. TS diagram is temperature entropy diagram. So uh, temperature is there on Y axis and entropy is there on uh, X axis. So if you see uh, for every substance there is one dome so we are considering this dome such that on this side uh, liquid is there inside the dome wet region is there that means liquid plus vapor and on the right side of this dome vapor region is there so let's try to plot this point so let us consider first point first point it is at low pressure and low temperature so let us consider this is this point low pressure low temperature vapor refrigerant and I am plotting this point uh, on saturated vapor line. See this is simple vapor compression cycle or standard vapor compression cycle in which this point number one is uh, plotted on saturated vapor line but it may happen that this point number one may be inside the dome may be outside of the dome but for the simple vapor compression cycle this point number one is assumed on the saturated vapor line. Then one to two process is isentropic compression process that is also known as reversible adiabatic compression process. In this process, the entropy remains constant and there is no heat exchange. So this process on TS diagram, we can show by using vertical line. So this vertical line represents constant entropy. As we can see in TS diagram, the vertical lines represents constant entropy. So 1 to 2 indicates isentropic compression that happens in the compressor. In this process, the entropy is constant. So S1 that is also equal to S2. Then uh, let us see process uh, 2 to 3 that happens in the condenser. So 2 to 3 is isobaric heat rejection. That means at constant pressure, heat is rejected to the surrounding. This process on TS plot we can show by uh, this line. This is at constant pressure. So if you know about TS diagram, uh, the constant pressure lines are like this. Constant pressure lines are like this. I'm considering that one of the constant pressure line and uh, on that line, I'm plotting this curve, two to three. So at the end of the condenser refrigerant, it is in liquid state. So we are considering that on saturated liquid line. Again, this point number two can be outside of the slope. Then uh, refrigerant goes to the expansion wall and in the expansion wall isenthalpic expansion happens. Isenthalpic expansion is one of the irreversible process. So that can be shown by dotted line. 
or uh, here I am showing this in a different color line. So this is isenthalpic expansion process. Now in this process enthalpy remains constant. So in process 1 to 2 entropy is constant. In process 2 to 3 pressure is constant. So P2 is P3. P2 that is equal to P3. And in process 3 to 4 enthalpy is constant. This is very much important. This will help you to solve the numericals. So always write this H3 is equal to H4 and S1 that is equal to S1. Then 4 to 1 that happens in the evaporator that is isobaric process but since it is, it is inside the dome so it will look uh, similar to that of isothermal process but actually it is isobaric heat addition process so at constant pressure uh, heat is added in the evaporator so this process we can see in TS diagram as a horizontal line inside the dome okay so for this process also pressure is constant that is P1 that is equal to P4 remember these two things are very much important that is s1 that is equal to s2 and h3 that is equal to h4 this will help you to solve the numericals so let us see the simple vapor compression cycle on ts as well as ph diagram so again this is uh, temperature entropy and ph means pressure and enthalpy scale so these are the domes on uh, ts diagram and ph diagram so this is point number one so same point uh, on the ph diagram i have shown here so this point number one it is on saturated vapor line then one two is isentropic compression and uh, in ts diagram this process is vertical vertical straight line in a ph diagram if you see the entropy lines they are a little bit curved they, they are little bit inclined so this is one to two process in a ph diagram so that happens in the compressor remember in this process only we are uh, giving the work input to the vapor compression cycle 2 to 3 is isobaric heat rejection so at constant pressure heat is rejected to the surrounding the same process we can see on ts diagram as 2 to 3 and on ph diagram uh, that that will be the horizontal line then 3 to 4 is isenthalpy process that happens in the expansion wall so that process we can see on TS diagram as curve line and on pH diagram this is this has a vertical straight line. So that is isenthalpic, uh, isenthalpic expansion process. Then 4 to 1 is uh, isobaric heat addition process. So at constant pressure heat is added in the evaporator. So that, that we can see on TS diagram as well as pH diagram. Always write these things. So here we have to write s1 that is equal to s2 and h3 that is equal to h4 some of the numericals can be solved by using this ph diagram here also you can write s1 that is equal to s2 and h3 that is equal to h4 so that's all from this video please like this video please comment on this video please share this video thank you